We made it to Fort Gaines on Dolphin Island, established in 1821. Let's go inside and see what this 203-year-old fort has in store for us, shall we? Now, the first stop of the tour leads us to a shell that was hit by the USS Chickasaw during the Battle of Mobile Bay. Sorry for the wind and everything. I had to cut the audio out. This brings us to our next stop at the one of the battery turrets. As you can see, overlooking Mobile Bay, you can hear Rand's call. Here's one of the turrets looking up close, and that's what it looks like far away in its pentagon-shaped defense of the t of this fort. Now you can go down these. Going down these steps is very tricky. There's just one bar to hold going the entire way down, and it spiral staircases all the way down it. In similar a lot of these rooms, you find battery magazine rooms just like this, looking down the old tunnel system. You can see where this room used to hold shells, ammunition, and black powder, and many forms of other things during the American Civil War. Pretty interesting, and these rooms are very dark. This follows into what a bakery would have looked like at, during the time period with the original brick ovens. Imagine the years of bread baked in this ovens alone during time. That was rumored up to 400 men use this fort on a daily basis in its operation. Imagine the stories the bricks could tell in its old kitchen, just like here. We're going to take you right next to where they stored most of the bread and the flour after it was done. And takes you into another room, the salt pot table, where everything is kept. Pretty neat and interesting. Now here's the quartermaster's store and office. This is the building where you could have went and got your general supplies. This is how it's being set up for a local reenactment. Interesting. Check this out. And I decided to get a photo of myself down this long tunnel. Check that out. Now our next start takes us to the latrines. Over 400 men use these latrines on a daily basis during the 1800s. And it's written right here on the plaque as soon as you come into the wall, telling you what they were and how it was used. When you see these things, you're going to imagine what was time like. Just look at these old urinals. They were high off the ground. They had like a little stool to stand on. Goes right out into the bay. Maybe that's why Mobile Bay is so tainted in color. Who knows? And in this final segment of this video... You see what was bunk rooms and also storage rooms where they slept and kept things in storage. I'm going to put more into later videos, but this is the end of part one. If you found this interesting, ask for part two. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think.